everybody! Today, I'm very excited to release this recipe. Yangyang chalta. I'm gonna call this rice cake super nutritious rice cake. How about that? Why I call this super nutritious rice cake? Because that's super nutritious. Yangyang chalta. Yangyang means nutritious. <laughs> chalta. Chalta. Even once I hear the chalta, the word, it makes my mouth water. Because since I was young, this chalta is always just a delicious stuff for me. But if you are not Korean, you never heard this chalta, what the chalta is, why Mangchi thinks this is mouth watering. That's my favorite, my daughter's favorite. Especially, I like to make this one when my daughter come over my house. So I want to impress by making this when she come over and she will enjoy it. So let's get started. To make this rice cake, the first thing you have to do is soaking these beans because it takes a long time. I just soak this for 12 hours. I did all kind of experiments, you know, 8 hours, 10 hours. At least you need to soak these beans 12 hours. These beans are special. Inside is green color. So we call this 서리태. So I use one cup. I soaked this 12 hours ago. Get this. Big, huge, right? Huge difference. Let's drain. These beans are very tender now. You can squish this with your you know, fingernails. So I'll put these beans here. For beauty, I will just take some and then just skin these beans. Just not all, just a little bit. So that later when I make this, you know, yang yang chalta, really delicious looking, you know, colorful. Just only a handful. Black and green, really contrast is so pretty. And just this, just a little bit. I'm going to add the other ingredients to this bowl. And meanwhile, let's make syrup. Rice syrup, half a cup. Then water, same amount, half a cup. So half a cup and half a cup, just one cup now. And you can use brown sugar or white sugar. So I will use just the dark brown sugar, two tablespoons. One, two. Turn on the heat. I just boil this until all these bubbles are coming up. It will be really delicious syrup. Other ingredients to make it nutritious. This is chestnuts frozen. You can find it in Korean store easily. Chestnuts, peak season is in fall, but frozen chestnuts is always available. So that's why it's very easily I always buy some a few packages and then I keep in my freezer. Vacuum packed. So meanwhile, look at this. It's bubbling. Just stir this. And this chestnut is about this amount. It's around one cup. So leftover chestnuts, put it back and freeze again. This is done. So five minutes, I cook this over medium heat. Turn off. See, like this. Next, the chestnut, let's cut. Slice this. Quarter cup water, sugar, one tablespoon. So medium heat. Next, this jujubes. This is a really large size, but we need to remove the pit. Push your knife here until you touch this seed, and then cut around like that. And only seed is coming out like this. Okay, let me check this, my chestnut. 
Look at this chestnut color change. So a little bit yellow. So you don't have to cook thoroughly. So I think that's enough. I'm going to turn off. This is too big, so I like to cut two or three times. My beans, and then let's add here. Pine nuts. Quarter cup. Nutritious stuff is inside. That's why nutritious rice cake. Literally in Korea. But I said super nutritious rice cake. Eh? See oh my, looks so good. And then I'm going to add honey. Honey about two tablespoons. And stir this well. Just this all this nutritious stuff and syrup just ready. And then what we have to do is take care of rice flour. You gotta find dried glutinous rice flour. This is one pound. Just less than three cups. One teaspoon salt. I need a perfect amount of moisture. Three tablespoons plus one cup water. Oops. I, why I'm, <laughs> I still have this. I was going to use this. I wanted the water. <laughs> One, two, three. And one cup more. Just wait a little bit. So this I'm using my rice scoop and mix this together. And slowly add some, just around one third. Just mix. And more. Oh. So you see a lot of lumpy now. So we have to break these all lumps. First use wooden spoon or rice scoop like this as much as you can. And then eventually you gotta pray to the God with two palms. <laughs> I think this is good and then time to break with my hands and just uh, all use. Use both hands and like this. About two minutes you gotta do that. Pray to the God. <laughs> You make for your family member, your loved one. Oh, I make this young young chalter for my daughter, and I hope she loves this. And I'm going to show her my love. <laughs> I'm making for my wife, or oh, my wife will give me a lot of a compliment. How about that, right? All this rice flour should be evenly, evenly moist. So, done. And then, just to cover this, we gotta wait for 30 minutes. So at least 30 minutes. If you like to make this rice cake tomorrow, you put this all rice flour, kind of moist rice flour, into plastic bag and refrigerate. And then tomorrow, and then when you are ready to make this rice cake, you can use it. But now I'm busy. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna finish this video, right? So I'll just put it and then I'll wait 30 minutes. mini past my rice flour should be ready now how we know this is evenly moist just grab some and then like a, in a squeeze so it's like this so you can make this one lump I still cover this I don't want to dry out let's add the chestnut and a little bit syrup there. Wow, nice. Beautiful color for them. 
So my steamer is around two inch water is uh, boiling. When it starts boiling, I'm going to steam this my rice cake. So it's a steamer basket. Look kind of dirty, but actually it's not dirty. This is a hemp, hemp cloth, or you guys can use also cotton cloth. You can find some this kind of stuff, kitchenware section in Korean grocery store. First, I'm going to wet this. Put this in my steamer basket. So I will add just about a few tablespoons is a syrup here. And see, shiny and looks very delicious. So put this. Spread this nicely. But jujube is going to be the skin part is down for beauty. My steamer basket is 12 inch, exactly 12 inch. And then I will add all this rice flour. and spread it like this, evenly. And this leftover, this uh, is it. You see green color, so pretty, isn't it? Just a little bit of green color. This jujube, now red side up. And cover this. Now my water is really boiling. Put it here. In 40 minutes later, see you soon. My rice cake smells so good. 40 minutes passed, and then I'm going to lower the heat to very low and simmer for five minutes. So five minutes passed, so I'm going to turn off. Quiet. I will just put this rice cake into my cutting board. And before that, this method is very easy. I will use my tray. This is a 13 by 9 inch tray. You guys can use any baking sheet too. I still have a lot of syrup. I will just add like almost half of syrup here. Whoa. See? Wow, my rice cake is like this. Awesome. And this is really hot. Just I will wear gloves. Just grab this one on the edge of this here. Flip it over, rice cake, like this. I will bring my some cold water. And then spread this to make a 9 by 13 inch size. Ten minutes, let it cool down, and then I will just flip it over and cut. That's it. This is a syrup I'm going to drizzle over top. Just a little bit left over, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to flip over this. Hey, look at that. And all this left over. Look at this! All kind of good stuff is inlaid. Let's cut it up. I cut this rice cake into eight 
equal pieces. You can serve, put it in the plate, and then eat. We usually wrap each piece individually. This rice cake, both, both sides are pretty. So, look at that. Look at that, isn't it pretty? I'm going to eat this. What I'm doing is, this is a Zippo bag. Again, I put it this and freeze. And later, when you take it out from the freezer, leave it at room temperature. When it thaws out, it's like a really freshly made rice cake. So you don't have to reheat. Let me taste. See, rice cake is well cooked. Hmm. Sweet and chewy. And beans are well cooked. Hmm. This is so delicious. That's exactly what I wanted. I wish I could share with you, but just instead of sharing with you, I'm teaching you how to make it, and you follow this recipe, exactly what I'm doing, and you make this one. I know all of you guys are good at cooking, and always I'm amazed by your cooking skill. Today, we made super nutritious rice cake, Yangyang Chalta. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.